So last night I uploaded a video titled Bully 2 Fake Leaks Explained. Well, today we might have possibly been faced with yet more of what Donald Trump would call fake news. Big emphasis on the word possibly there, because nothing has yet been confirmed or denied by Rockstar. After uploading my previous Bully 2 video, I decided to get some much needed sleep, so that I would have enough energy to work on my next Bully Beta analysis video, and what do I wake up to? Well, more fucking news about Bully 2 apparently. This is something that was initially discovered by Reddit user Meth and Gatorade, which I must say is a pretty fucking cool name. Shout out and thanks to Legacy Killer HD for sending me this on Twitter. Rumor: Removed Bully 2 listing points to possible E3 2017 reveal. In what could possibly be one of the biggest E3 2017 spoilers yet, a now removed listing on the Game Informer website points to a possible sequel to Bully, Rockstar's 2008 high school adventure. Dubbed Bully 2 Kevin's Backjack, it might just be a troll or a data entry error, but Game Informer often reveals new games on its monthly magazine covers. Could this appear on its next? Now there are a few interesting descriptions that were listed on this supposed leak. First off, we have the title, Bully 2 Kevin's Jack Black. I mean, Bully 2 Kevin's Backjack. As a hardcore Jack Black fan, it is surprisingly difficult to properly read this title without accidentally saying Bully 2 Kevin's Jack Black. It kinda puts the image in my head of Jack Black voice acting the main protagonist of the game, who would in this case be called Kevin. Bully 2, The Ballad of Gay Trent. It'd be funny if the game is actually going to be called Kevin's Backjack, because it would make it very difficult for me to save the name properly in hundreds of videos. I would probably make hundreds of videos about a game that I can barely enunciate properly. It also appears as though the ESRB rating is pending, which is also interesting because if the game actually had an ESRB rating at this point, then it would pretty much confirm this as a legitimate leak. Another interesting description is that the game will have support for two players. Whether or not this would be locally or online is unclear, but having co-op in Bully 2 would definitely be something that would get a lot of old fans excited. I mean, the game alone would be sufficient to get 99% of Bully fans riled up, but having multiplayer, be it locally or online, would be sick as fuck. The final description that caught my eye was the alleged upcoming release in fall, which to me seems very, very fucking questionable. Game Informer would subsequently Consequently, pull this from their website after being discovered by the Reddit. They would then go on to make the following statement on Twitter. You might be seeing reports we have reported Bully 2 exists. This is an error. We have not heard anything about a sequel to Bully. We we we, well it's on your website so you ought to know about it. But apparently not, because when further questioned about how exactly this happened in the first place, Game Informer CEO Andrew Rainier said that the team is currently looking into just how this happened. Which to me seems all the more fishy. Because you would think that there would be some kind of process wherein the higher ups at Game Informer would approve the newly submitted pages for upcoming games, but apparently not. It could also be that someone with access to creating game listings at Game Informer decided to just troll the bully fanbase by making a fake page. Which is also kinda confusing, because if you are going to troll people by deceiving them into believing that a new game has been confirmed, then why not do it with a way more popular franchise like GTA or Fallout? Before I end this video, I would like to remind you guys to please take this with a grain of salt. Game Informer, while often a credible source, is operated by human beings nonetheless, and human beings do have a tendency to lie. What do you guys think? Do you think that there's anything to this? And if so, why? Make sure to share your thoughts and speculations in the comment section below. And hey, if you're into Bully, then why not stick around? I cover the game pretty extensively here on this channel, so you're bound to find something that you'll enjoy. Anyway, that's it for me. You folks, as always, stay classy. Peace.